Dentist has a passion for providing quality dental care in a family-oriented environment and offers a variety of treatments in one place along with on-site dental labs. Light Dental Studios also has offices across the South Sound and takes that extra step to help the communities in which they practice. Here to share more about this practice and their upcoming annual South Sound Free Dental Day, please welcome Light Dental Studios founder, Dr. Stephen Broughton. <laughs> welcome. Thank you, Susie. Thank you for Good to have you here. So quickly, um, tell us how Light Dental Studios began. How did it get started? Well, um, I started off as a solo dentist. I had a little small four-op practice in Puyallup. And I loved practicing that way. I was very personable. I knew all my patients. Um, but I always felt like there was, could be a better way. And uh, I'll give you an example. I mean, one of the things about practicing on your own is that I could only do about 80% of procedures. And there were some things that I was good at and some things that I weren't, wasn't so good at. And so what would happen is that I'd end up having to take my patients and I'd have to refer them to specialists and then they'd have to go to another person in a new place and a new waiting room, a new schedule. Um, they in got a, a different and fee and, and so it just got really inconvenient for them. Uh, today we have 25 doctors that work out of nine locations. We have a staff of over 125 oh. and we're in a geographically condensed model. So where we sit uh, uh, like our little four-op practice that I started in now has 20 operatories. And so people can come in and they can get all the care done in one place. And it just makes it very convenient without the runaround. Absolutely. And cutting down on anxiety, too, of those trips mm -hmm. to the dentist when they can get it taken care of. So tell us what types of dental procedures you do besides general dentistry. There really isn't anything that we don't do. Um, w when I was small, one of the great things about it is that we wanted to bring great technology because there's lots of really wonderful things that's available in dentistry, but it's very expensive. And so I had to pick and choose what I could afford. Whereas today, with our size, we have access to all the wonderful technology that's available in dentistry. And our patients don't need it all the time, but when they need it, we have access to it. And you have a passion, it seems, for making uh, dental care accessible, don't you? Mm -hmm. you? You have people on staff that can treat those with special needs, and you worry about anxieties with patients. That's yes. important to you. Yes, it's very important to me. Um, our company, we, in our logo, we have a feather. I'm actually wearing my feather yep. today. But um, the feather signifies to our patients that we want dentistry to be effortless for them, and we want it to be very convenient. And so um, we give our patients an option when they call in. It's a binary option. We say, would you like to see your doctor or would you like the convenience? Uh, we are open, when I was a sole dentist, I was open an average of about 180 days a year. Um, today, our offices are open 314 days a year. And so our patients can get really easy access to us. And, um, and when they ask, you know, it, they can still get the personableness if they want to see their doctor, but if they say they broke a tooth and, and their doctor's not available, as, you know, as it was when I was by myself and wasn't available, now they have the option of saying, I want the convenience. They're not always off on a Friday or right. Saturday. Right. And, and they, they say, I, I want to get my tooth fixed today, and, and it's possible to do within our company. Right. So what, tell me about South Sound Free Dental Day. What inspired you to launch that? Um, I, I was born in Seoul, Korea, and I was abandoned by my biological parents and left in an alley to die. And fortunately for me, someone found me and they took me to uh, an orphanage. And nine months later, there would be a measles outbreak in the orphanage and it ended up killing most of the babies. Um, I was one of just a handful of children wow. that came out. Uh, I was brought to the United States and I would end up growing up here quite poor. And that really painted my worldview. And uh, I just wanted to make sure that I left the world a better place than the world that I grew up in. So um, one of the things that I used to do is when we were a very small company, I would ask my staff, I said, can we just give up one day where we don't get compensated, we don't get paid for anything, and we go and we make our, as a gift from our company to our community, we make it a better place. And so we would go out, we'd clean a beach and uh, make a trail, we planted flowers, but we did something every single year. And we got to the point where our company was large enough that we really couldn't do uh, the small venues right. anymore. And so that's when we decided we're going to give away a day of dentistry. And we did it last year for the very first time. We gave away $50,000 of dentistry. What a gift. In, so how does, how does it work then? You start in the morning screening patients. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it again this Saturday. Right. Uh, at 7 o'clock. And our staff will all be on hand out of two locations this okay. year. 
and um, yes, they'll they'll be able to uh, get a filling or have an extraction. We're going to work all day for free, and and it's first come first serve. It is first come first serve. Okay, so they don't need to make an appointment. No, we have several businesses that are contributing, local businesses, and they're bringing food and. Um, I can yeah. see this getting bigger and bigger every year. What a, what a gift. Yes. Um, and can you take part even if you have dental insurance? You can take part. Mm -hmm. We will not bill your insurance. Okay. So there are laws that go with dental insurance. Right. And you, we can't bill the patient and right. then not charge them. So there's co-pays and stuff that okay. exist around insurance. And so because of those rules, um, if you have insurance, you're welcome to come. But we just simply won't but this, charge it. But it's this free. will be free. It will be <laughs> yes, free. It that is, is not free. a bad thing at yeah. all. And what a gift to the community because so many of us, um, if, it's, if it's just a copay they can't pay or they don't have dental insurance, what a gift. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Again, South Sound Free Dental Day takes place at Light Dental Studios offices in Puyallup and University Place this Saturday, May 20th. Screenings begin at 7 in the morning on a first-come, first-served basis, and patients can choose from one free filling or one free extraction. For more information, visit Light Dental Studios website at lightdentalstudios.com. You can also find links on New Day's homepage. All right, coming up, how to tell it's...